Welcome back guys. Today we have a mailbag. Parts are moving again. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Welcome back guys. We have some goodies in the lab today. Let's get started. Okay, first out of the package, a whole bunch of these. These look like they could be fun. I think I know what they are, but let's just pull them out. I believe these are CAN modules, and sure enough, they are. These are CAN open modules to interface our microcontrollers via CAN bus. So we have VCC, TX, RX, and ground, and our CAN high and low of the other side. So basically we can talk serial to CAN uh, with probably just about any microcontroller we wish. Pretty cool. Whole whack of them here. Um, I have visions of using these on the robot project and maybe some others to uh, interface the different micros together. We'll see, could be fun. Next up, I had to remove the packaging and get rid of them on this stuff because, uh, well, <laughs> COVID-19. This is a flow sensor. Um, not much for labeling on it. It came in a nondescript package, but basically it's either a hall sensor in there. I'm assuming a hall sensor. Um, can we pull it apart? Hmm. Let's pull it apart. When in doubt, let's see what's in here. See what we see. If it's a hall, it's going to have to have a little amplifier circuit and stuff. So that's glued. We can't get in there. I'm just thinking about it. There's no hall in there because we'd have to feed it. There'd have to be a power reference, a, a power supply VRAF going to it. So this is just going to be basically a tilt switch in there for the ball to act against some kind of micro switch or whatever but that's sealed up so we're gonna leave it that way okay next up two of these these are bluetooth obd2 adapters so this is the ELM327 interface, supports all OBD2 protocols. Well, spoiler alert, there is only one major OBD2 protocol. It's OBD2. <laughs> it's what the government mandated that all manufacturers use. There's all kinds of manu manufacturer specific protocols use tons of them, proprietary ones, whatever, but they're not obligated to give us those over this port. But the standard onboard diagnostics, second generation. Yep, we can get that. Comes with some software. We don't need it. Um, I just use a Android phone app and uh, I'll maybe do a video on that and check it out. Actually, maybe we'll play with this software too and just see whether, see what it does. But pretty cool little rig. I uh, can't easily bust into that. Uh, actually, well, it popped apart. There we go. Inside, not much to this. Well, actually there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of hardware in here. Is that a bodge wire? Oh, it is too. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be tough to get on camera, but right here, there's a bodge wire, a little enamel wire, but there's our Bluetooth antenna down at the end. Some micros, big proprietary micro, uh, power supply voltage regulator down here, and then, I'm guessing maybe serial communication chip or whatever right here uh, or some kind of micro anyway not much to it it's cool stuff uh, we'll give it a go in an upcoming video okay we got some batteries uh, back to flying season and um, a couple of my batteries didn't didn't uh, didn't come back to life so well. So I splurged this. This was all I could get off of Amazon without a month lead time with the current pandemic ordering. I can get some stuff 
in like normal prime maybe an extra day and some stuff takes forever so this was prime plus a day no problem locally and then the ovonic batteries and stuff were all over a month lead time which is kind of a shame and i'm pretty sure they're doing it as a money grab these are the this is the R line is the top of the line lithium polymer battery 95c from tattoo awesome batteries 1300 milliamp hour 1.3 amp hour so great battery but i think uh, the reason i was able to get it from amazon is because the profit margin is higher on this battery i think it's that simple that's why i can't get the other ones it's a uh, it's that way with a lot of businesses so such is life but i got one so i have one brand new battery that's pretty cool better than no brand new batteries right so i got these some nifty little power jacks dc barrel jacks uh standard stuff except um these are for going through a board, but they have long, large enough terminals and easy enough to work with that I think this will be really easy to use to just stick into projects and hot glue into the 3D printed enclosures. You're going to see some videos on the channel. Uh, one is at least already live now when this video goes up and there's another one coming where uh, I need power into a 3D printed enclosure. So pretty cool. More batteries, no namers. These are 18650 cells. Now the video is probably not live yet when you see this, but I've been making 4S lithium ion battery packs for my iNav planes. And this is what I've been using. I've been using these 18650s. These are labeled as 3000 milliamp hour, three amp hour cells. So I'm getting, uh, I'm normally flying my nano talon and stuff with this battery, with these uh, old, my old uh, drone batteries that are kind of tired. They're plenty good enough for a nano talon. But now we're going to go over to this and the same size of pack, four cells, almost identical in size and weight. I'm over doubling the capacity. I'm going from 1300 to 3000 milliamp hour. So uh, the only caveat is you just can't draw as high amperage instantaneous out of these, but uh, capacity is huge. So uh, I already made two packs and this will make a third pack. Thank you. Okay. This is not what I expected, but well, we're gonna make the best of it. These are solar cells. Um, they were supposed to come in a panel. They came as very individual cells. Uh, positive and negative leads there, as well as solder joints there. And then we can just make our own uh, solar cells, our solar panels. So we can add some solar charging. The idea was for the Arduino CubeSat project. I wanted to pick that back up and, and make my own panels on the side. And I think these will, these will work. Uh, it's just not what I had originally intended when I ordered them. So we'll check it out. This, I believe, is for another project. Yes, these are Peltier Junctions. These, I have videos on the channel. Oh, I did get four of them. Wow, I got lots. So um, I have a big project in mind with these that we're gonna need all four of these. But uh, we'll see if I make that or not. It's a pretty involved project. But long story short, these little Peltiers are pretty simple. Put positive and negative to them and they get cold on one side and hot on the other. They just move thermal energy from one side to the other. Very inefficiently, but pretty pretty powerful little units. You can also reverse that and heat uh, one side and cool the other and generate a current to flow, generate a uh, voltage across here. And uh, yeah, neat little tech modules. So thermal electric junctions, tech modules. So we'll check them out. One more goodie. This I've been, I went on a kind of a tear where I got myself all kinds of new hardware assortments because during the before as the pandemic was sort of starting i found myself short on different hardware so these are m3 they come with nuts a uh, different assortment of lengths pretty handy these kind of classy looking so 
I think they'll be nice for some projects. And unlike the previous batch, they didn't get totally munged and messed up in the shipping here. So now I have lots and lots of little hardware assortments of M3 to, through M5, which are great for small projects. Just wonderful. And that is our haul for today. Significant little haul. Uh, things are back moving again from China. I'm getting parts in, no problem now. Things are, uh, things are looking up. So hopefully things are good where you are. Click a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. If you like all the projects I've been doing lately, uh, catch up with you guys next video. Cheers. Thank you.